Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Total Biscuit. On April the 30th, 2014, I uploaded a video by the name of My Little Problem. It was a vlog, it described some health issues that I'd been having, which at the time was a claim that I had a precancerous mass that could potentially end up being full-blown cancer. As it turned out shortly after that, after numerous tests, it did end up being full-blown cancer. It was stage 3 colon cancer, as many of you are now perhaps aware. Over the course of what was basically a year of treatment, I underwent a couple of surgeries, as well as two fairly lengthy sessions of chemotherapy. One which was a two-month-long course of chemotherapy pills, which I had to take five of two times a day, which was combined by radiation therapy, which I went to five times a week. After that, I underwent IV chemotherapy, which was eight rounds of chemo designed to slash and burn and finish off what was left of the disease and make sure that it didn't come back. So after two CT scans, I've been confirmed as in remission. You might be asking, well, oh, is it cured? Am I all clear? There's no such thing as all clear, really, when it comes to cancer, but they'll declare you all clear after five years of being in remission. So I'm officially in remission, and after two CT scans, there is no indication whatsoever of any cancerous material remaining. So... As you watch this video, I am currently in surgery to fix all of the issues that came as part and parcel of this whole procedure. Basically reversing the cuts that were made to my intestines and the rerouting and everything that was done there. Fix the abdominal hernia that I got a couple of months into the chemotherapy. And also repair various things like prolapsed intestines and remove my chemotherapy port which is embedded into my shoulder and all sorts of things like that. So I anticipate being in hospital for a few days, so basically this week is pretty much a wash. I have a couple of videos prepared for you, I've got a Hearthstone video, I have a Wolfenstein video for you, and of course this vlog. But outside of that, I will of course be inactive until I am in a good enough state to resume my work, which will hopefully be as short a time as humanly possible. I'd like to thank everyone that supported me over the last year. Of course, it's been a pretty rough time for everybody, and it sucked for those that like to watch the channel because I've put out less content, I've put out more irregular content, and I've even put out content that some people have said, hey, we don't like it. You know, and that's still happening to this day, people complaining that I'm not producing the video that they want me to produce. I'm covering a game that I find interesting rather than a game that they find interesting. And that feedback is never really all that useful for obvious reasons because it just represents the opinion of one particular individual, and... Honestly, it's been a case of get the videos done that I can because at the end of the day this is a job and my family's livelihood is directly linked to my ability to do my job. And sometimes it means that I have to do videos on games that are maybe a little bit shorter or less complex. I'm better off creating a video about a shorter indie title than I am about a 200 hour long RPG or anything along those lines. And since the chemotherapy I've been suffering from neuropathy in my hands and feet which is essentially nerve damage, which means that playing games has actually been very painful and I'm only able to do it for short periods of time. I can't really sit there and play for eight hours. I can't really play things like Dota anymore. I played some Sins of a Dark Age and even after one game, I was finding that my hands were in a great deal of pain. So unfortunately, there are a number of reasons as to why I'm not producing at the lightning fast pace that I used to be and the same reason that I'm not covering some of the games that you might want me to. And I'm sorry about that, but that's just the reality of it. I hope after I've gone through a full recovery and after this neuropathy has gone away, and it's supposed to be temporary, but it can last upwards of a year after a chemotherapy session, that I'll be able to get back to the regular schedule. But we'll see how long that takes. I'm still suffering from that and, of course, chemo brain, which is a common side effect of those that go through intense chemotherapy which affects my ability to focus on my concentration, which has made gaming significantly more difficult. I'm trying. I am trying. But I just ask for a little bit more patience, a little bit more time from people, because I can't really force myself to do more videos than I'm capable of. And if I did, then you'd just complain that they were not detailed enough or that I made mistakes. And I understand that. And I don't really want to make mistakes. 
in this position, there's a great deal of responsibility. If I make a mistake that causes even one person not to buy a game, then I've done a disservice to the developer of that title. It's important that what I do is accurate, and it's important that I give a fair first impression of the games that I'm covering. So I need to be in a state of mind where I can do that, and there are times when uh, right now I'm just not able to do it. So again, I apologize for that. You know, I always feel guilty that I'm letting people down. But there's really not a great deal that I can do about it. There's no treatment for it. There's no cure for chemo brain or neuropathy. So it's just something I have to work through. And I'm going to ask again for your patience as I do that. And I'll try and cover as many games as I possibly can. I'm just not going to push myself into a position where I end up making videos that are not representative of the product. Because that's unfair to both you as the viewer and to the developer of the game. Now that's throwing my responsibility out of the window and I'm not okay with that. It's unethical. Anyway, I'd like to tell you about a couple of things that are coming up. Right now we've got our new merchandise sale going on. So we're selling the House of Biscuit t-shirts, uh, which are available on RodeoArcade.com. If you head over to that, you will find the House Biscuit t-shirt and poster that are available either individually or as a bundle. That's going to be on sale until June the 1st, at which point they will disappear forever. There's also a small number of 60 FPS t-shirts still available that we had left over from last time. So you can get the poster or the t-shirt available at the original price if you so desire. And thank you to those of you who have bought so far. It's very much appreciated. As you might have heard from many YouTubers over the last five months, we've actually been enduring some pretty cripplingly bad CPMs. Usually in January, after Christmas, where nobody's got any money, people aren't really interested in advertising. So that's usually kind of quarter one thing. It goes away about after about two months, but we always endure some fairly lean times after Christmas. The problem is the CPMs never really fully recovered. So five months in, we're still dealing with CPMs that are about half of what they were prior to Christmas. So Basically, almost every YouTuber on the planet has had their salary cut in half, which is not nice. I mean, of course, nobody really likes that to happen. That is not a good thing at all. And we're compensating for that in various ways, like some of us have started streaming more to drive subscriptions to the channel. We've made merchandise to sell, and of course, we're occasionally doing sponsored videos as well. And I don't like to do too many sponsored videos for obvious reasons, and I'm very, very careful and very selective about the sponsored videos that we actually take because I don't want to put myself in a situation where I would end up being unduly biased towards a game. So things like Guns of Icarus, which I'd already formed my opinion on, which as it happens, we're also going to be doing a new set of videos for towards the end of this month. They seem pretty reasonable. So there you go. There's the announcement of that. There'll be a new Guns of Icarus Battle Royale coming towards the end of this month. I will be crewing a ship with Krendor, Kraken, and Peanut Butter Gamer. And we're going up against the evil forces of Markiplier and the Game Grumps. And we're also allying with Jesse Cox's crew, which includes Cry, Angry Joe, and Dodger. So... Yeah, we're doing that. Why? Because, frankly, we like the game and there's a good amount of money involved in it. You'd be perhaps surprised as to how much money one could make from a sponsored video, which is why a lot of channels do a lot of them. And with the CPM being the way that it is lately, a sponsored video is worth so much more than a regular video. I mean, you know, you could make 10 regular videos and not make as much as you can get from one sponsored video. So hopefully you understand that. Again, I don't like to do sponsored videos too often, and I do try to make sure that the sponsored videos are interesting and entertaining and of games that you actually care about in some way. And people have proven that they like watching the Guns of Icarus stuff, so I don't really mind doing a little bit more of that. Outside of that, I will be at E3. That's the plan. So I'm going to be doing E3 coverage, and we've spoken a little bit about how we're going to do that. We're focusing, for the most part, on bigger games, AAA stuff, anything that I can get B-Real or direct capture from, and that I can provide you with a solid hands-on first impression of. And that's June the 16th through to June the 18th, of course, in Los Angeles. Looking forward to that. E3 is a bit of a difficult show to do, but I think we're booking some pretty interesting stuff this time around. So I certainly hope that I'll be able to provide you with some interesting content. Based on the stuff that we did at PAX last time, it seems like you guys want to see AAA and you would prefer that I wait till around release for indie stuff. So for the most part, that's what we're going to be doing. It'll be a little bit of a lighter schedule. I don't want to stress myself out too much since it will be fairly shortly after my surgery and I'm still in recovery, but we'll hopefully be able to get some interesting stuff. There is also a plan to head on over to CoxCon, as again, you may also be aware. I'll be heading over to CoxCon in England, and that's really just as a favor for Jesse, more so than anything else. 
And it's an also, also an excuse for me to go back home for a little while. I did want to do that for maybe a week because I haven't actually been back to England in over three years. So I think it's reasonable to go back and spend a little bit of time with the family, say hi to old friends. So that's going to be happening in about two months time so nothing to really worry about as of yet but just letting you know that that's going to happen and also we'll be doing dragon con which is later on in the year and that's planned to be a co-optional live event so it'll be myself jesse and dodger heading to that and we'll hopefully be able to put on a live show for you guys which will be a lot of fun so outside of that i will not be doing the co-optional podcast tomorrow for obvious reasons I'll ask Jesse if he wants to do it, but it's likely we'll just skip this week. And of course, the lounge, I will also be skipping because I'll still be in hospital by that point. We intend to do the lounge next week, that being the 22nd, uh, Friday. And we're hoping to actually play Doom the board game, assuming that we might to learn it by then. So hopefully that'll be fun for everybody to watch. And also, I should let you know that this week there will not be a Shoutcraft Clan Wars, again, because I'm going to be in hospital. And those are expected to resume next week. Big thanks to everyone who has stuck through all of this nonsense over the past year. It's been very heartening to see the support and the fact that people stuck around instead of just running off to another channel. And I certainly would have understood it, considering if you don't put out the, ch the content that people want, then people are going to leave you. you know, that's just the reality of the business. But so many people stuck around and the channel's actually doing better than it's ever been. I'm really looking forward to getting back to full schedule and producing the amount of content that people have come to expect over the past five years and also focus on the bigger games that people want to see. Admittedly, there's not really been too much in terms of big games that have come out over the last few months that I really would have covered anyway. Things like Pillars of Eternity are just too long for the first impressions format, so I generally don't do anything with those, but there's always something that I'm going to miss, and I want to minimize the amount of good games that I miss as much as humanly possible. My name's been Total Biscuit. I am going to go have some morphine now, I think. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.